okay so let's go ahead and open up the enemy script and as i told you our enemy ai will have three state the first one will be the pursue in which the player will search for enemy or you can say the enemy teammates and then it will go ahead and chase them okay and then the next state will be the shoot state in which the enemy will shoot our player or our player teammates and then the third one will be the response so when we kill the enemy the enemy will be respawn after some time okay so this will be a basic three state so for the enemy let's first of all add a header at the top and right here we will type enemy health and damage let's create a public float by the name of enemy speed after this create another header by the name of enemy things and in here we will create a reference to our enemy nav mesh agent so we will say public nav mesh agent and let's name this as enemy agent okay then we need a reference to our player body so we will say public transform and let's name this as player body after this let's create a reference to the layer of the player so we will name this as player layer okay after this let's create a header by the name of enemy states and in here let's create a public float by the name of vision radius then let's create a public float by the name of shooting radius and then create a public bool by the name of player in vision radius then the next bool will be player in shooting radius and then let's create a public bool by the name of s player and by default that will be equals to false that's it now down below in the awake function let's assign the nav mesh agent to the enemy agent okay so we will say get component and the component will be the nav mesh agent and that's it let's do that okay now in the update function we will say that if the player is in vision radius okay first of all we will set the player vision radius okay so for that we will say that physics dot check sphere we will take the transform dot position and then the vision radius and then the player layer okay basically we are creating a vision radius right here and then what we will do is by using then this vision radius we will check if the player is inside the vision radius or not and if, it, and if the player, player is inside the vision radius then the enemy will chase the player okay after this let's create a shooting radius as well so say that player in shooting radius then physics dot check sphere let's copy this paste it down low change this to shooting radius that's it now right down below we will check if the player is in within radius or if it is in the shooting radius okay and according to that we will call different states of the enemy ai okay but first of all let's create a function for pursuing the player so we will say public sorry let's make this private private void receive player let's make the p small and then in here what we will do that we will actually make the enemy ai pursue the player okay but now since we have the function right here now what we will do is 
we will check that if the player is in vision radius okay and the player is not in the shooting radius okay we will check that and if that is the case then we will call this pursue player function and then the enemy will pursue the player now in here what we will do inside the pursue player we will set the enemy agent dot set destination and the destination will be the player so we will say player body dot position okay so in this way the player will simply go ahead and pursue the player right here we will add the animations but that is for the future for now let's just save this and get back to unity right here the enemy speed will be for example 3 let's assign the nav mesh agent then the player body then the player layer mask okay and then the vision radius the vision radius for example let's just make this as 100 and the shooting radius will be for now 10 okay now let's play the game okay oops now let's see if the enemy is coming towards us or not okay here he is there is the enemy okay now the enemy is the enemy will now chase us you will notice as you can see he is coming towards us now as you can see the enemy can now chase us and you can see the variable changes right here now we are in the vision radius okay and now there is the player now if you come closer to the enemy then as you can see it shows that player in shooting radius and, and don't worry about the facing okay for now as you can see the enemy facing is not that good okay he is facing somewhere else but we will fix that don't worry about it okay and once the facing is fixed the enemy will then look at us okay now we are still in the vision radius so that's why the player is not following us okay but once we will uh, add the shooting function then this enemy will still come closer to us okay but for now let's just leave him as it is okay you can notice that he can now follow us and do everything but i think there is still a problem with our baking so let me just select these two planes okay where the enemy will walk then click on this bake let's bake it again let's make it 0 0.2 or 1 let's make it 2 okay now as you can see the area is filling up let's make this turn and then let's see how it will look okay I think one is enough or maybe two now let's check it out If we come closer to the enemy, okay, there he is. Now, as you can see, his step height was a little bit too higher, so that's why he is going up on these containers as well. As you can see. we don't want that let's get down let's make this 0 0.1 and actually let's remove these leaves kind of thing okay from our surface 
as you can see now it looks even more good Oops. let's pick them let me make the size of this environment a little bit too smaller because if you notice our environment is a little bit larger for these players okay so in the inspector let's make them 0 0.7 0 0.7 and then 0 0.7 now as you can see it is a lot more smaller now okay we need to move our player as well to the ground but just make sure that you change these values okay to 0 0.7 of the whole environment now where is our player here he is let's reset the transform of our player he's still right there let's move him inside the game okay let's move him down there Move them up. That's it. Now, where is our enemy? There he is. Let's move him down below. Move him right there. That's it. Let's now move him outside of the ground. Okay, like that. Now, let's check our game. Now as you can see it matches our player height if you notice it. It is now according to our player height as you can see the containers are now smaller and as you can see it works perfectly. But now there is a problem with the nav mesh agent sorry the baking. So now let me select these two again. As you can see now, the baking is right there. Let's just actually select the environment again, bake it. Okay, now as you can see, it is right down there. Let's select these two grounds, click bake. Okay. Let's just end this video right here. Now you know that our player can still follow us, okay? And once you have uh, resized your map, then make sure to bake the environment again, okay? And then we will fix this baking problem later in this video, okay? But for now, let's just end this video right here and focus on our enemy AI.